Hello students, once again, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wish to introduce a very interesting chapter of statistics, which is probability. So let us start. Hey, what's going on? A very interesting match is going on. It is highly likely that our country team will win the match. It may win, it may not win, but we wish always that our country team will win the match. In the second picture, we can see that the girl is carrying an umbrella. It may rain, it may not rain. So probability is a measure of uncertainty. Hey God, what is the dog doing? It's flying. Can the dog fly? No, probability of dog flying is zero. It is an impossible event because the dog can never fly. Now we come to another example of impossible event. When a die is rolled, we can have six numbers. We know there are six numbers on the dice from one to six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. But do we have the number seven on the dice? No. Probability of getting seven is zero. Because we will never get zero. We will never get seven when the die is rolled. So in impossible event, occurrence of event is zero percent because the event will never take place. Now we come to certain event. In certain event, occurrence of event is 100 percent. Now when a die is rolled, probability of getting a number between one and six, which are national numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six are national numbers, is one because we will definitely get a number between one and six when a die is rolled. Either we'll get one or two or three or four or five or six. So we will definitely get a number between one and six. So probability is one. So probability lies between zero and one. Now we come to the formula of probability. Probability of an event occurring is given by number of ways the event can occur divided by the total number of outcomes. So this is the formula of probability, which is very important. It will help us to solve all the sums of probability. Now coming to coin toss example, when we toss a coin, we know there are two outcomes possible, either head or tail. There are always two possible outcomes, head or tail. Now, probability of getting a head, we know the total number of outcomes is two, head and tail. So total number of outcomes is two. Probability of getting a head, H is head. So H is denoted as head. So P, H, this is how we write probability P. Then in the bracket, we write head, that is H, is equals to half, my half. I've said you what is the formula of probability? Number of ways an event can occur. So head can occur only once. So we write one in the numerator divided by the total number of outcomes. So here we have two outcomes. So one by two. So we have probability of H is one by two. Similarly, probability of getting a tail, P T, T is tail, so equals to one by two. Two is the total number of outcomes and one. If we toss a coin, tail can come only once when we toss one coin. So in the numerator, we write one divided by total number of outcomes. So probability of getting a tail when a single coin is tossed is half. Now we come to the dice example. Now when a dice is rolled, we know there are six possible outcomes. We get one, two, three, four, five, six. So total number of outcomes is six here. The probability of getting five. We can get five only once when it is rolled. So in the numerator, we write one divided by the total number of outcomes, which is six here. Because when a die is rolled, we can get five once. The probability of getting an odd number. 
So what are the odd numbers in this? One, three, and five. So we write one, three, five. So three numbers. So three by six. Six is the total number of outcomes. And probability of getting an odd number is three by six, which is equals to half. Because there are three odd numbers on the dice, one, three, and five. Now coming to the example of cards, I will show you first. First, I would like to tell you there are 52 cards. Right? I will show you which are they. We have here suits, club, club is this one, diamond, hurt, and spade. In club, we have ace, which is denoted as A. The numbers from 2 to 10, we have jack as J, queen as Q, and king as K. Right? So how many cards do we have then? We have 13 cards. 10, that is A is 1, then 2 to 10. So we have 10. 11, 12, 13. So we have 13 cards of clubs. Similarly, diamond, we have ace, 2 to 10, then jack, queen, and king. Same thing follows for hurt and spade. So we have 13 times 4 is 52. So for club, we have 13, diamond, 13, hurt, 13, spade, 13. So we have 13 times 4 is 52 cards in all. Right? And J, Q, K are known as face cards. J, Q, K, they are known as face cards. And A is known as ace, right? We should remember these things. Now let us solve the sum. So total number of outcomes I've said you, there are 52 cards in a pack. Now probability of getting a jack. So we have jack club, jack diamond, jack herd, and jack spade. So there are four possible outcomes for getting a jack. So it is 4 by 52. Now we come to probability of getting face cards. So what are the face cards I said you? Jack, queen and king. So four jacks are possible. Club, diamond, herd, spirit. So we 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. So 4 into 3, we get 12 divided by total number of outcomes is 52. So 12 by 52. Now we come to another thing. Provided you're getting red face cards. Red face cards, which are they? See this one. These are the face cards. So red are diamond and hurt. So JQK, JQK. So we get 6 by 52. So 6 by 52 is 3 by 26. So this is how we calculate probability. I have given you very simple examples in the next video. Coming videos, I will share more examples with you. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon. Bye-bye. Have a great time.